The beauty about working in a racing environment for stable staff is that they have a job which is outdoors um, with animals. Um, you obviously have to love animals, otherwise you couldn't possibly do it. Um, you're not behind a desk all day long, you're not stuck in air-conditioned offices. Um, to be outside during the summer is great, during the winter it might be a bit of like hell, but um, um, yeah, and it's, a, it's a great way of life. It's, uh, I think if you're into, into animals and you happen to like racing as well, well I mean what a better way to, to spend some years doing that. And you know you can brood onto that to be a travelling head person or a head lad or something in racing elsewhere. But uh, it's a good it's a good way of being involved with animals and outside for the early part of your life. A um, daily routine would consist of you getting up about half five, um, depending on how many horses you muck out. You muck out about four or five, um, and then after you've mucked out, if you've got time, you go for a quick cup of tea. And get up at around half five, go onto the yard, do your horse boxes and check your horses and everything and then you'd come back out onto the yard for to be ready to pull out at seven o'clock. Um, the hardest thing about working in racing is probably the early mornings and um, getting up at five o'clock in the morning and the cold winter mornings and it's raining outside isn't the easiest. I just think it'd probably be the early mornings, um, but apart from that, it's just you know you either do the job because you love it or you don't do it, you know. First lot at 7.15, so and then we would ride four or five lots each, depending on how busy we are. Being around them every day and riding out, it's just what we did, what, what we all want to do, you know. Yeah. And you know, getting the chances to school the horses over the fences and working them, you get a feel for what they're going to be like in the races. After breakfast we would, we would ride two more horses and then get the yard tidied up and, and feed the horses and go for lunch. You get your horses, your set of horses to look after and you sort of stick with them and uh, it's quite an exciting job. You get to go racing um, and they keep you busy, keeps you fit. <laughs> Yeah, my journey into racing, well, um, I was, I don't tell this very often, but I was an Essex man, I was born in Essex, and my father was a farmer and he trained a few horses. Um, I moved up, to, well, my father moved up to North Hampshire when I was about 12, um, and uh, he was into his farming, I wasn't. Um, I found the fascination of being involved with horses was much more my sign. Um, when I finished school, I went off and worked abroad for a while, and then came back and went into racing. I worked in Newmarket for a chap called Humphrey Cottrell. Um, I was never going to make a stable lad because I was too tall, but um, I used to drive the horse box and go racing, saddle the horses, do my work in the yard, um, muck out the horses and brush them over. Then I worked for Tim Foster, who was a well-known national hunt trainer who won a Grand National, and I used to look after about 12 horses there um, as his assistant at the same time, run the yard for him, um, look after the staff, have the problems of looking after the hostel and how they didn't look after it, have the hassle when they burnt the furniture because they ran out of firewood, you know, the normal sort of thing. Um, and then I worked for Fred Rimel, um, and I spent three years there. I shared a house with Nigel Twiston Davis and Sam Mooreshead. And they were most probably some of the happiest years of my life. Three years there was tremendous fun. We won a gold cup, a grand national champion hurdle while I was there. I was assistant. Um, it was a, a time of my life which I suppose sleep didn't come into it. A lot of work, a lot of play, and uh, we learned a great deal. And, we, and great friendship was struck up by all of us. And then I decided to set up my own. And then uh, we set up with four horses. and. Moved on from there. I moved down to East Ilsley um, with five horses. Left there with 30. Moved to Lambourne with 30. 
and uh, we got up to about 120 at one stage. Um, we had a great deal of success with you know, a Grand National winner, and a Champion Hurdle winner, and a Gold Cup winner. Um, and then I decided that Lambourne was no longer for me for lots of reasons, and we moved away from there and disappeared up to Northamptonshire, where we built up a smart, you know, what looked to be a very smart yard. Sadly, it went wrong. We had a gallop washed away. Things went wrong, and uh, here we are today in deepest Gloucestershire, um, and I'm very happy for it. There's sort of more horses coming into the industry, but we don't have enough staff to deal with that. And um, I think it's sort of a growing industry, but without the staff. So we need more people to know about it and to come in just to be able to make it better and make the, make the jobs for the people that are, that are in racing already sort of that little bit easier. I think the biggest problem we have, we are recognised now as having 500 staff less than we should do. Now, 500 people um, in racing, if they look after four horses per person, that's 2,000 horses that aren't being looked after properly. You know, we're really lucky here, we've got a full quota of staff, but I always try and carry one more than I should do, which is not guaranteed to happen, but we try our hardest to do so. But, you know, it is difficult. It is very, very difficult. And, uh, you know, it's all very well, the, the BHA, encouraging people to, to have horses, but we've got to encourage people to look after them first before. You know, it's very easy to have horses. It's not very easy to have staff. And if you haven't got staff, you can't look after the horses properly and the job's not done properly. I got into being a stable lad um, with Kim Bailey Racing. Um, kind of, I've worked, I've worked with horse in my life, um, and kind of like one thing led to another. I'm local in Cheltenham. Um, I came here for my work experience back when I was at school, um, and it kind of just kind of led on. I've worked at James Evans Racing before, um, which is only up in Worcester. Um, and I was riding out here the whole time I was up there, um, and eventually I got offered a job here, and I took it, and now I'm here. I got into racing by going to the British Racing School uh, four years ago. Um, then I'd been to a couple of different yards and they sought me out a job. And uh, yeah, sort of gone from there really. I've always worked with horses. My job's always been with horses, but this is the first racing job that I've had. And it's just, Kim Bailey was local and I'd heard of him before. And it was just recommended because it was a really friendly yard and uh, they have nice horses here and it's quite, it's big enough to be a good yard but it's sort of small enough to be, you know, it's not intimidating, you know all the horses and you know all the staff um, and it's just a good place to work. Well, after we've ridden out and the whole morning routine's done, we go and have dinner. We get a couple of hours for that, so we normally have a quick nap, which is much needed. Um, and then after we come back from that, we come out and we put the horses on the walker and muck them all out again, brush, give them a quick brush over, check them for any lumps, cuts, bumps, and just check they're all sound and well. Basically, what I'm doing is uh, my evening stables now. Uh, I'm just grooming my horse so he's nice and comfortable before he goes to bed in the evening. Trying to get any gallop, dirt, sweat, anything off of him. 
Plus it's a good time to get a good shine to them as well. So the only times we have to do this uh, is mainly in the evenings, giving them a full groom. Uh, but just before we ride out, we flick off any dirt and bed in and brush out their tails so they're all looking presentable for when they go up the gallops for the trainer to see. Um, and potentially if there's any owners, so they can see that their horses are looking nice and healthy and shiny. Uh, today, it's been quite an easy day. We've had all the horses worked hard yesterday, so they'll have a quiet day today. And they'll all do one canter each, most of them. And um, so each person here has ridden about four, and a couple have had five lots today. But it's all gone pretty quickly. You're sharing a house with, we've got 12 in ours. I mean, you have sort of the older, more sensible ones, and you have the, you know, the younger sort of party animal ones. But everyone comes together, and we all work really like together, and we all get on. And it's the main thing because you know, when you're living with 12 people, working with them all day, every day, can get can get tiring. But no, they are good lads. It's a big yard, so you you work with a lot of people. And when you go racing, obviously you meet more people, and um, it's quite a good, it's a good crowd. And you can obviously, because it's a lot of people, you can go out on a weekend with the, with your group of people that you work with. My favourite thing about working in racing would have to be how rewarding it is in the sense of that if you've been riding something and it's been your ride for like a week or so and then that goes and wins, then you've helped into that and you know when you take your horse, your own horse is racing, if you win best turned out, you know that's because you've been looking after it, you've been brushing it well and, and taking good care of him. Personally I'd encourage anyone to get involved with the racing because it's, it's so rewarding kind of when you look after look after horses that will be going to Cheltenham or going to Aintree or big meetings or even like midweek meetings when they go and win. It's the most rewarding feeling like knowing that you've like looked after them and you brush them every day, muck them out, feed them, everything. What's it like to be a racehorse trainer? I love every moment of it. Um, it's a great job. I've had great, great fun out of it. I've had great experiences. I've been up there and I've been down there and I know what both sides are like and that getting back up to that top end again is great. We've got lovely horses, I've got great owners, um, and I've got good staff. So at the present moment in time, I'm smiling, I'm happy. <laughs> and that's really what it's all about. I mean, it's, it's a, no two days are the same. You know, I've just been around evening stables, and I'm gonna have to make a phone call to someone and say their horse is not right. Um, and then you have a happy day when you have a winner. So, you know, you can't, you can't rest on your laurels in this business.